Some controversy over Maroon 5's decision to headline the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Yeah, lead singer Adam Levine sat down with Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier to talk about why the band is facing some backlash. There has been controversy around you guys playing this performance. and um, Has there? What, just a little. What went into your decision to play the Super Bowl halftime show? When you look back on every single Super Bowl halftime show, mm -hmm. people just can't. It, it's... It's this like insatiable urge to, to hate a little bit. Um, I'm not in the right profession if I can't handle a little bit of controversy. Um, it's what it is. We expected it. We'd like to move on from it. And like I said earlier, speak through the music. The music. Why'd you guys cancel this press conference? Hmm. The NFL canceled the press conference. You'll have to speak with them. We're in Atlanta. We're so close to where Dr. King mm. was born and raised. What do you say to the folks who say that they just want to be heard? And how will your performance speak to that? They will be. That's all I want to say. Because I don't want to spoil anything. I've never been more excited in my entire life to present this to the people because I believe that it's truly a reflection of, of all of us. I like to think that people know where I stand as a human being after two decades of doing this. So what I would say is, you know, we'll, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, hopefully without becoming politicians, to make people understand, we got you. We got you. Just shoot for the stars if it feels right. How do you prepare for the spectacle of it all? You're, you're not a dancer, so no. how do you prepare no. to make this a spectacle? The music. You know, the, the, the spectacle is the music. I've watched every single halftime show there, there has been mm -hmm. um, just to get inspiration, and especially the stuff like, you know, the Prince one, which is legendary, and Tom yeah. Petty, and the Stones, and Springsteen. And, and, then, and then there's the other side of it, which is, you know, preparing yourself physically, you know, for the whole thing, too. So I, I've been treating it like I'm about to play in the Super Bowl myself, working out a lot. Yeah. Keeping, keeping, keeping taking care of myself for the past 30 days. <laughs> is there anyone out there? Because it's getting harder and harder to breathe. On Sunday, when Maroon 5 takes the Pepsi halftime stage, they will be joined by rapper Travis Scott and Atlanta's own Big Boy. Uh, having Big Boy out there, mm. um, Atlanta's own. Atlanta, baby. Could that mean that we will hear outcast music or an outcast reunion? I cannot divulge the details on that level, because that would be spoiling it. To pay homage musically, to your geographical location is a beautiful thing. And he epitomizes music in this part of the country. I get those goosebumps every time. Now you have Travis Scott, one of the young bucks. Young man, mm -hmm. young Travis Scott. He's been incredible too, man. He is it right now. This is the, the show that's gonna have the biggest hip hop presence that, that there has ever been on this, on this show. Girls Like You um, is a, really an anthem in a way. Let me go. It was the perfect video at the perfect time with everything going on in our country with Me Too. Would we see any of those folks pop up? Because you had a lot of famous faces in that video. Of course, I can't answer your question about people being being there or not, but that's a lot of people. Trust me, just wrangling that many people for the video in general was tough enough. So I, you know, I can't I can't promise that every single person will be there for the for the Super Bowl. And it's great to be playing potentially playing the song at the Super Bowl. There's no way your kids can understand the importance of this moment, can they? No, they're too little. But, you know, I think that in the little, the little, little kids, that they're going to stay home. Uh, it's a little bit of a fiasco out here. It's a little crazy. Mm -hmm. So we're going we're gonna to keep them home. My wife will be out here, though. But they're going to watch on TV. And I'm going to wear daddy bracelets so they can see that I'm representing them well.